This video was generated using a Wikipedia page and now I will show how exactly to make it. So I'm already on alienart.io and to get started I need to go to the template section. What I need to find here is the template that was used for this video, it's called specification. Let's click it. Once it's loaded we can make a copy of it using clone button. So this is our own clone of the template. We have multiple pages here and first thing we need to take a look at is the data page. Here is a spreadsheet with our data. As the next step we can find a data that we will use. Uh, I already found a Wikipedia page which is called uh, Countries by Government Budget uh, and it has multiple tables in it. I note that this feature that I'm showing can import only tables from the Wikipedia pages. Uh, so I copied the link to this page and what I need to do is to go to File, Import, Wikipedia and paste the link of the Wikipedia page and finally click on import. So it will take a couple of seconds to analyze it. It's ready. And the next thing we need to do to basically review what we got here. The thing is, since I didn't specify anything, it imported all the tables that were in the source to fix this we need to basically specify what exactly we want to import one way is to modify the, the um, column names that we have here for example we don't want to put anything in the highlight here oh by the way we can review what we got so far so we can see that word is uh, or country name is uh, actually not in the place we expect it to be and there is some data that is imported but uh, those values like we don't know which values are imported and why they are here so we want to specify exactly what we want to import okay we remove the name of the first column what does this mean that it will not import anything for this column for the second column we want to specify the country flags so we can compare what we have in the data in the first table uh, in Wikipedia we have country, revenue, grants, expenses and balance and also year. So for the first column we want to get the country flag. Oh, I'm sorry, for the second column. So we will specify country here. And for the third column we also want the country name. I will specify country again. So what it can do, it can extract the flag from this column and it can extract the country name from the same column. Uh, for the next one, I will specify revenue. But the thing is, there are two columns with revenue. Uh, revenue LCU and revenue percentage of uh, GDP. I want to get the second one, so I will specify percent sign which is not present in the first column with revenue so it will go for the second one i will do the same for expenses i don't want to use grants expenses percent of revenue and balance will be the last column and i will also specify the percent sign to get the percentage of the balance then I want to repeat the import. Let's do it. Okay, so I got significantly less data than previous time. Well, let's see how it looks like. So much better, we have the countries in place, but it uh, still moves too fast. We'll go to the Layers tab uh, and change the duration of the video to, let's say, 3 minutes and 30 seconds. So now it's much slower. Uh, there are also two animation types. Uh, this one is uh, called Fixed Time Animation. We'll change this from the Layers Advanced Comparison 
and let's say animation and change animation type to continuous so now the animation type is changed it moves smoothly we will go back to the data page and delete the data that we don't actually need we will delete the world from here so we want to show only the countries we will also delete the um, aggregated values okay so we have list of the countries but they are ordered by the country names let's say we want to order they by balance so in this case we will go to the tools tab and basically sort it now it's sort by the balance if we click on sort again it will reverse the order we'll keep the original one and we'll delete the countries that don't have any information about their balance here i will go to table delete row and delete the rows that i don't uh, want by the way i can do command z to or control z if you are on windows or linux uh, to revert the data i've just deleted and also i'm using shift uh, i'm clicking on one of the rows and clicking on the second one with shift to select multiple rows so those data is normalized we deleted every leftover that we don't want it looks good so far let's go back to the data and check what we are missing we're actually missing the numbers that represent the places of those countries uh, what we can use here we can uh, give some samples and interpolate the data so let's say we want to show the country with the biggest balance as number one and the next one as number two we'll select the whole column and click on tools interpolate uh, so we got all the numbers from 1 to 147 and let's preview it again i think it's pretty good already but there is one thing that was in the original video uh, there were animated flux so what we can do now we can go to the data page choose one of the flux get to the library change the type of the flux here to animate it uh, so there are multiple types of the flux i will keep the rounded one that is uh, selected by default and i will replace all the flux so now they are animated we can get back to preview and we got it the same way but animated so that's it we replicated the video let me know in the comments like if you have any kind of questions and also note that this feature is in the beta so if you encounter any uh, issues also let me know in the comments okay now the flags are animated so the only remaining thing is to update the numbers to show what they actually mean let's go to the elements page and what we want to do is to move the numbers to the right side and uh, add text that explains what they mean on the left side so i will uh, go through every number here and change it to alignment to the right i will add a new element choose text element i will place it next to our current element one of them and change the alignment of the text to left change the size of the text to let's say 60 pixels and i will change the text to revenue i can also make it bold maybe it will look better so I will choose the font Noto Sounds and I will change it to both. Okay, so I got one text. Let's clone the element to get another one. 
uh, we'll place it right below. Uh, we'll change the color to white. And we'll name this uh, Expanses. And the last one will be also cloned from the, this one. And will be called Balance. And yeah, now it looks finalized. We have revenue, expenses and balance. Countries are ordered by their balance from the lowest to the highest. So we can go to the end to see what are the top countries. Uh, so yeah, and that's how the video ends. Please note that the feature is in the beta, so if you encounter any issues, please let me know in the comments and thank you for watching.